Hello beautiful people, have you been following The Voice? Do you think that the new season has had an amazing start? Well, after the blind auditions, voice battles, and knockouts, the coaches' teams have been finalized. Hope you all have had a great time listening to the performances on NBC's The Voice. Can you believe that it is almost time for the live show? So let's talk about the performers on the live nights for season 22. Today, we will only be talking about the contestants from Team Gwen. Gwen Stefani is a longtime coach on The Voice, married to fellow coach Blake Shelton. Stefani is no stranger to talent. The American singer-songwriter has been active on the show for eight seasons, and is still a coach there. During her time on the show, she also has a winning contestant Carter Rubin, who won season 19 of The Voice. While talking about Team Gwen, we shouldn't miss one of the key person behind the team. Battle advisor, Sean Paul for Team Gwen. The Jamaican rapper and singer is the current battle advisor for Gwen Stefani. The dancehall legend had great things to say about Stefani and is thrilled to be an advisor. Having just finished his three-month, Can't Stop Us Now, tour with Pitbull. So let's not waste any time and talk about the performing contestants. First of all, we have Alyssa Wittrado. Growing up in a Mexican-American musical household, Alyssa Wittrado is full of talent. The rising star has wowed Gwen personally with her voice. Further, Gwen and Alyssa totally connect, and Stefani believes she can be Alyssa's proper mentor. The 19-year-old singer has performed marvelously in her blind auditions, battle rounds, and knockouts. The young California resident is definitely a fan favorite, with performances such as No Doubts, Don't Speak. Her further acts have left the audiences wanting more. Alyssa winning the first-ever three-way knockouts against Sasha Hurtado and Deja, with her performance of Queen's Don't Stop Me Now, is just a testament to the great things that will follow. Certainly, we believe that the young talent will make her way to the finals. Next up we have, Keek Gomez. There is no doubt that Keek is amazingly talented. The 18-year-old Cuban-American takes music quite seriously. With his performances of Outcasts, Hey Ya, and Sean Kingston's Beautiful Girls under his belt, he is one of the top performers on the show. Have you heard his vocal range? It's just wow. Being queer in a Catholic all-boys school was not easy for him. Keek turned his emotions to performance and music to deal with his inner demons. A fun fact is that, the young lad is also an animal lover and has more than 30 reptiles. Having taken music therapy since childhood, we can see why he has such a deep bond with music. Fingers crossed for this young talent. Now, let's talk about Justin Aaron. The Gentle Giant auditioned with John Legend Common's song, Glory, and only Stefani saw his potential, but Aaron did get praise from Legend and Blake Shelton. He has showcased more talent by winning knockouts and maintaining his status as a member of Team Gwen. A church praise and worship leader, Justin even works with the youths in high school as a mentor, as he had to grow up without a father figure. Recently, he was devastated by the loss of people close to him in COVID. The 34-year-old married man has immersed himself in music in many aspects of his life. We hope his journey takes him places. And finally, let's talk about Kevin Hawkins. Who can forget his four-chair turn-blind audition? With his performance of the Stevie Wonder song, Isn't She Lovely? After joining Team Blake, he was stolen by Gwen after losing knockouts to Bodie and the Dries. The performance was spectacular, but he was sadly outshined by the talented Bodie. As the son of a preacher, Kevin has been a musical director for his dad's church since he was just 10 years old. Well, he is definitely hitting experienced in the resumes. Did you know that he even shared the stage with some big names such as Erica Badu, Kiki Wyatt, and Mario? Kevin even toured with Oprah in 2020. Let's hope the support from his community and church brings in the votes. Wouldn't it be rad if even Oprah herself canvassed for him? With that, we have come to the end of this video. What are your thoughts about The Voice? Who do you think will make it to the finals of the show? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe to our channel to know more about other teams. See you in the next video.